I cannot give you a simple answer, but I do know this. There is no record in the entire history of the library that any of the illustrious scholars and scientists who worked here ever seriously challenged a single political or economic or religious assumption of the society in which they lived. The permanence of the stars was questioned. The justice of slavery was not. Science was not part of their lives. So when, at long last, the mob came to burn the place down, there was nobody to stop them. It's a story about the last scientist to work in this place, a mathematician, astronomer, physicist, and head of the school of Neoplatonic philosophy in Alexandria. Her name was Hypatia. In great personal danger, Hypatia continued to teach and to publish until in the year 415 AD, on her way to work, she was set upon by a fanatical mob of Cyril's followers. They dragged her from a chariot, tore off her clothes, and flayed her flesh from her bones with abalone shells. Her remains were burned, her works obliterated, her name forgotten. The loss was incalculable. We must not let it happen again.